The text says, when I was a child, I thought as a child, I understood as a child. Tell your neighbor, God has some things for you to do that requires maturity. God has some things for you to do that requires maturity. You ever watch children? Look at their actions. They whine and complain. They are selfish by nature. Let another child come over to the house. They can have toys with dust on them. But if that other child picks up that child, man! They're not playing with it, but they don't want you to play with it either. That's childish. They're childish by nature. They throw fits and tantrums when things don't go their way. Children have short attention spans. So they walk away from a lot of things that they started and they leave them unfinished. This is why the enemy tries to develop these negative behaviors in you as a child. He wants to ruin them by developing the wrong attitudes in them as children. Then, once they are grown, it will be harder to change their mindsets once they reach adulthood. They will have childish responses to adult issues because of immaturity. And they will continue making bad mistakes because they have not matured. Uh -huh. Young people, the enemy is not after you for who you are right now. He's after your potential as a man or woman of God. Yes. And if he can get your mind confused and messed up with thinking which leads to messed up behavior, then you will never reach your potential that God designs for you. And since this is Men's Day, the enemy wants to destroy the potential of every boy that is born. And those that are yet unborn. So we end up with weak men. And this weakens our church. Weak men weaken our homes, it weakens our schools, it weakens our community. Because men are immature. And when you look at the men in here today, you're looking at men who survived the challenges as young men and boys that the enemy unleashed on their lives. The doors meant to keep you out. Jesus opened. The barriers meant to hinder your progress. Jesus removed them. The vices aimed at destroying you as a child like violence, disobedience, mischief, drugs, gain, lack of education. Jesus protected you. Those weapons designed to take you out did not prosper because you were destined for greatness. My yeah. father, brother, and tell them, I am a survivor because God changed me. We are survivors because he changed me. And now I want you to look at the boys that are in this room, the young men that are in this room. The enemy is after them. He's challenging them on every side. But I want you to tell these young boys in here right now, tell them you have great potential. You are destined to be a great man of God. But you must change and mature. You have great you are destined to be great. Yes. You're going to be a great man of God. Yes. 
You can say the same thing to the young girl. You have greatness. Yeah. You are destined for greatness. Yeah. You are destined to become a great woman of God. Yeah. But you've got to change. You've got to mature. The word says, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. And you move towards the direction of your thoughts. And that's why God had to change us. From a child to an adult. Our minds had to be transformed. Because there's a new level of authority that comes with godly wisdom and maturity. See, the word reveals truth, and truth gives you power to make informed decisions. And then when you're able to make informed decisions, then you can lead uh, yourself out of bondage, and then you can also lead others out of bondage. Right. Because the Bible does tell you the truth shall make you free. And that's what happens when you become a man. You can put away childish things. And you can walk in your destiny and complete the assignment that God has for you. See, when my will becomes God's will, I no longer seek to do what I want to do. I do God's will. And since I know his will is wrapped up in St. John 6 and 40, it says, this is the will of him who sent me. That all who see the Son and believe shall have everlasting life, and I will raise him up in the last day. Yeah. Now, how will that happen? When they see Jesus yeah. in me. Yeah. When they see Jesus in you. Yeah. When they see Jesus in real men. When all men see the Son and believe, yeah. they shall have eternal life. Yes, and God will raise him up in the last day. That's what his will is for your life. And now it's all about what can I do to serve Jesus through serving my fellow man. See, we let them see Jesus at work through us since he changed us. We must let him be known in the streets. We must let him be known in our homes and in our schools, everywhere we go, that he can change you. And no matter what you've done, or how long it's been, he can change you. And he will cause you to mature and put away childish things. I've seen 50-year-old men change. I've seen 30-year-old men change. I've seen 60-year-old men change. I've seen 75-year-old folk change. It's never too late. To change. You can be mature and learn to love. You can be mature and learn to forgive. Learn to keep peace. Learn to be responsible for your children. Learn to keep a job. Learn that you can graduate from school. Even if you drop out, you can get back in there. Because if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. The old man I pass away. Become new. You can change. I know it works because he changed me one day. He brought me out of darkness so I can relate my experience of being changed and delivered to someone that's still struggling in bondage. To someone who thinks that they are stuck in the situation they are in. I want to let them know that I'll be the biggest cheerleader for the Lord. I'll be cheering and shouting about what he has done for me and what he is 